Welcome to uh, Greensboro, North Carolina here, uh, site of last team standing. We are here with the world champ, Sean Wade, the Southeast champ, Jerry Didway, where we're going to be having a match. This is going to be the first title defense for Sean, and it's going to be uh, Jerry fighting to get it all back and kicking ass like he does. Sean kicks ass. These guys don't talk a lot of trash to each other, but I'm going to ask you. Sean, I'm going to ask you first. You had the last two matches were against Josh. Lost the first one, won the second one. Everybody's like, you're good, you're good, you're awesome, you're going to do all this stuff. You don't talk trash, though. But I need you to tell me something about this guy that you don't like. Something I don't like? Yeah. Something you don't like about Jerry. Ah, man, he takes too long on the approach. I'm trying to get in and get out. Get in and get out. We got shit to do, right? I got shit to do. We got shit to do. <laughs> all right, Jerry, um, you, you, you took out the South, Southeast champ. Uh, you took out Zach. Um, you, you beat him so bad. He he he's not even in WCS no more. Um, so that was that was good. Thank you. Appreciate that part. But I need something about Sean. What don't you like about Sean? He's on Sub Zero. You know, they're rivals. Being on Sub Zero is a good reason to hate him. Yeah, that's so right. Good that's reason. a lot of it. So all right. So you guys, how many? So Sean, back to you. How many? How many? How many games going to take you to beat him? Six. Jerry, how many? I mean, you gonna beat him in? I'm say six. All right, so we got a six-game match. It's going to be a best-of-six match now. Uh, it could be seven. So, you know, I am the best at the uh, going seven games for most of my matches. So uh, I can see it going seven. All right. Sean, any last words? It ain't happening. It ain't happening. All right, man. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Well, both these guys have bowled really well today. And, and go from there. Uh, we'll have the Sub-Zero crowd is here. They are loud. Very proud. It's like a shot. <laughs> We will do our best on that. All right. First ball from Sean. Ten back right there. And you got Sub Zero yelling nice and loud over there. Yeah, their 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 uh, their volume uh, always covers up any uh, miscues, any missed opportunities. Yep. Jerry Jerry didn't look very lined up during practice, so he's gonna still gonna be fine today. But the one thing Jerry's been from at least everything I've seen is a game seven monster. Yeah. No matter how much. This this may look like he's struggling. If it's seven games, yeah. you got to beat somebody four times, and beating Jerry four times has not been an easy task for anybody. Yeah, the longer this goes, the more it's going to favor Jerry. Hundred uh, percent. The best thing for Sean is to get it over in four. Yeah, that's going to be tough as it is because the longer it goes, because Jerry's a lot like the guy sitting to your left, uh, Dennis Kilo, that uh, he knows how to finish and he knows how to make you work for it and fight. And Jerry's very similar to him. Jerry's gonna make you fight. Jerry ain't gonna give you nothing. Yeah. And that's great to see. Right now, Swade looks dead lined up. So I think he's throwing a proton physics, which is a fairly strong ball, but Swade's pretty up the back, pretty soft at the bottom. So Jerry covered the first two. Yeah, you guys I don't expect these guys to open much. No. Honestly. Definitely not. I don't expect Swade to spare much. No. Oh, kind of light. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a little puddle in the middle. I'm seeing a little puddle in the middle there. Yeah. You miss a little in, ball goes straight. Yeah. Sean's, Sean's gonna get on it though. These, these guys are a little nervous. You know, like I said, this is Sean's first title defense. You know, he don't know how to be the champ yet. You know, and, uh, he's, he's gonna get through it today. And, he, know, uh, he, knows we'll, we'll to, he knows how to be a champ. He's been a champ before. And he's bold for the belts a lot. I mean, oh, that's a miss. Oh, oh man. Already. That is a, there's a big puddle in the middle there. That's a chop on the bucket. 
And as we can all see, Ray just jinxed him by saying there's not going to be a lot of opens today. Yeah, I'm that commentator that jinxes you on the field goal kick. He's made 19 in a row. <laughs> All right, Swade's going to try and bring it back right here. I guarantee he's going to make sure he gets this one right. Better hope it don't overhook. That, that looks better. Back on it. Yep. It was a little bit better. It started it further right, I think. Yeah, that's the best part about this level. These guys can forget frames. I believe Jerry's throwing a CUDA. Which pretty strong ball in its own right. A decent amount of surface on it. Oh, Jerry just moved right. That's oh wow. That yeah, right. started over hook when he rolled it. Trip that four out. Yep. Oh, I don't know how. I'm gonna be willing to bet nine. he's gonna make a little adjustment off that. Yeah. Oh, we got talking. <laughs> got chirping in the back area over here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's right, see if Jerry can get two in a row here. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. I flush right there. He's walking right, it off. Jerry, Jerry ready to go. <laughs> and so the, the, the trash talk on the Jerry side is very subtle, kind of to themselves. They, they don't do the whole UGA culture as they, much. They do, but Kenny's not here. Yeah. Kenny sneaking in. I think Kenny had something going on. I remember seeing that, that this was just a really bad weekend for him. That looks pretty good. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Saw that three pin slide over. They look a little cliffed right now. Oh, and we're back. Oh, that looks pretty good. I waited that long. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, but just missed it. So, Swade's not liking that right lane too much. No. He's got a 54 in the fourth. Jerry's on 79 clips. Or 279. So, he's got. Yeah, had a long time to think about that one, too. But yeah, but. Wasn't never an easy spare, anyway, especially when you're still trying to dust off the shakes a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if I was a betting man, I'll say he'll strike here. I mean, he's 100% on the match on the left lane. Yeah, that, I, I'm willing to bet these two lanes are different right now. But I, like I said earlier, I think um, the cliff that's out there right now is going to play into Jerry's favor just because he actually does get around a little bit more. And he's throwing a, a considerably bigger ball. It's, I think Swade's proton is... Um, yeah. Ring 10. You got that right, though. Yeah, but you can really see more of that over-under kind of effect already, that cliff that you're kind of talking about. Like, it just, it's, it's almost like it moved twice. Yes, because as far right as Jerry got it, it's going to check up as soon as it gets to that friction point, and then it's going to kind of stop. But really, all Jerry's got to do is stay clean at this point to me. Damn, that would have took a seven out, too. Let's see if Jerry can get back on it. Carry, carry a corner pin here. Oh, that was right. Two pin. Almost rolled the two. We got rail in the back here talking. But like I said, I really just, at least this game, Jerry's just got to stay clean. But we'll see if Rail's talking can pump up Swade. I'm not convinced he has any look on this right lane right now. I mean, maybe he'll make some adjustments, but I definitely think he needs to move left. If he doesn't move left. I don't see him starting to strike. And it looks like he's moving around. So that was a misleft, but yeah, that's the problem. 
As soon, yeah. as, he, as soon as he misses inside of 10, it's just going to go for days and never going to hook. As soon as he misses right, it's going to hook at his ankles. So, Kevin, would you do a ball change first, or would you just move first? Yes, I would ball change. I would ball change and get into the puddle with something a lot. I think his, his proton physics has a, looks like it has a lot of games and a lot of lane shine on it. I would go to a bigger ball that's got some surface on it and just shim the middle. To worst case, you're shimming it in the middle and you're burning up the that spot to where he can then go back to the proton later on and stay in that same spot. You see, I thought you were right that he needed to move left, but it looked like he moved right. Yeah. So it's like he's, he's just not seeing it the same way we are from back here. No, I mean, he's a world champion for a reason, maybe, and I'm a, I'm a 2-10 average bowler for a reason, so maybe there's, maybe he knows what he's doing and I'm just talking to open and close my mouth. That was a ball change in the air. Uh, take a look at what that was in a minute. I think that was an infinite physics. Yeah, but I don't know why I bothered with the ball change on the left. I mean, every yeah. shot he had on the left was flush. Yeah, he struck every shot on the left and he ball changed. I mean, again, world champion, 210 average bowler talking. Yeah. So, don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here, to, just here to open and close my mouth. Really not liking the. Maybe maybe Slade decided to just go fishing this game. I used to do that in my matches. If I had no look and the guy a guy I'm bowling is pounding me, which is he's down about. If Jerry strikes, he's down 35. And that's money. If I'm Slade right now, I'm calling this match, this game a loss, and I am fishing the rest of the game. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. He needs to go ahead and figure out what's going to work, what adjustments uh, he can make to, to start game two better. Yeah, because score really doesn't matter. Right. Win by one, win by a hundred, counts as a yeah. counts as a one. So, right. yeah, uh, I don't even we'll I don't see. even ask for scores anymore with the WCS stuff. I just need to know the outcome. Yeah, I won't watch you. You Ring 10 right there. And just and just because Swade might take uh, take the rest of this game off and do some fishing, that doesn't mean that Rel's going to do any fishing. No. no. Oh, Rel's Rel, Rel fishing. But, yeah, but he's fishing with grenades. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how Rel is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See if Swade makes the right move here. See if he's going. I think he's actually going to that infinite physics on the right line. So we'll see. Oh, he started in the middle. Oh, that ball read sooner. That ball read a lot sooner. Yeah. That, that was that was really good. And I think that's why he threw it on the left lane the first time. Just to kind of figure out what he needed to do on the right lane. I think he's already just like you said. He's fishing. He's conceded this one. He's just trying to get lined up for the next. Max uh, Persuade right now is uh, 202. Yes, and Jerry can basically mark out, and he's in the 2 0s. Yeah. So Jerry really just needs to stay clean with some decent count. Yep. But again, I, Swade's starting to get lined up. I think he just made a bad ball choice to start off with. Right. But are you, are you surprised he's just not using one ball in his lane? Because he was doing so well with the physics on the left, or the proton on the left there. Like he was, some some people I just don't think are very confident in throwing two different balls. Yeah. He might be one of those. Yeah. But it's one of those things that you can't second guess too much because he is the world champ. He's definitely better than the two of us. Very valid. Big strike out of Jerry right there. I think he just needs Mark here in the tent. Um, yeah, Mark and some decent count. Yeah. And it's a W for the game. But again, Swade's starting to get lined up, so we'll see. I'm still not 100% convinced on that right lane for Swade. Because I do worry if he misses to the right what that infinite physics does on the right lane. Up to two pin right there. I think you just, I didn't fully see it. Got Sway standing in my way here. But I guess he missed it. Let it push down the lane a little bit. 
Spare it up. I believe he needs uh, six to win here. We like to think six is easy, but you never know what happens. So I'm gonna play the, the the black cloud for a minute and say I hope he doesn't break church right here for Jerry's side. Ooh. That's a ball change. So you got it pretty good right there. It was a knockout. Good field ball. Yeah. I heard from my uh, bowling ball correspondent over here that that was a knock Brunswick knockout. Classic stuff right there. So Jerry shoots 207. Suede can go out for 202. I really want to. That's to the right a touch. But it looks pretty good. So maybe he is on the right ball now. <laughs> this, next, this next game is going to be high scoring. I definitely this, think so. This will be a 240, 250 game coming up for both guys. I think Jerry's got his, his, his kind of figured out. He's good. And then I think. So he's starting he's to look like he's lined up. But again, I still want to. I, he needs to throw one to the right here to see what it does for his own mental sake. I, I do too. Oh, that's left again, but. He's now got the left. He's got the miss left, which that is the that is Sway Day game. It's just kind of piping 12. One more practice ball here for Sean. Yeah, I mean, you made this look like a game. Yep. People at home are probably thinking 202, 207, this was a super close game. It really wasn't. Um, <laughs> after about like, the fourth frame, this game was pretty much done. Like we talked about earlier to some of the people uh, that were here watching. Score doesn't matter. They can shoot 201 oh, to 20, right? they can shoot 300 to 299, they can shoot 300 to 200. The score is completely irrelevant. As long as you win by beating the other person by one pin. That's all I gotta do. Yep. So there have been we've we've both seen these matches where the person that won would have won the series lost the match because it's not about the series. 100 percent I mean five pins, super close game. Just at least score wise, super close game. But again, I don't think it was as close as the score says. But all these guys at this level, they're doing the math too. Jerry knew what he needed. Yep. And you know, Jerry wasn't worried. worried about, you know, he's just worried about figuring out what he needs to do for game two. Agreed. They both just did it in a different way. One with a win, one with a loss. Okay, right, Jerry's going to get us started here. That's good. That ball, was, no, that, that ball was money. That was a really good ball change. That was really good. And I, I, I actually am going to say I agree with right here. I'm expecting high scores the rest of the way out. It's going to be more than 220. <laughs> Let's see if Sway can keep that momentum pushed at the end there. That's pretty good. That's good. Ten. Oh, flat 10 right there. That's going to be... That's gonna be the issue with where he's playing. He's going, he's going right into the puddle. He just does not have the rev rate to kick. Huh? Who does have rev rate down there? Most people have rev rate. That guy has a lot of it. <laughs> oh, I do not. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Can be missing single pins. Yeah, that that that, that hurts. <laughs> That's not how you win belts. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this back here. You gotta forget that. I had way too many opens already. I didn't expect him to have this many opens total. Yeah. And he's already in with three. Yes. There you go. See, that looked good. That, yeah. That looked like he knew what he was doing. Right lane wasn't so much. Face to face. I'm, I'm going right there. If this ball strikes for Jerry, I really think Jerry's going to run over this game. Yeah. This, this is a ball change for Jerry right now. Mm. Still a great shot. All right. 10 pin two. Let's see if he can spare it, though. That's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Jerry's 10 pin actually looks like he's lined up. Swade's 10 pin looks like he's still fishing. Yeah. So there's flat. Six pin just is dead when it's coming off the rack. Oh. So, apparently, no 
nobody knows okay. it's there. We advertise this, folks, as a world title match. We forgot to tell you that apparently this is a cruiserweight match. Well, the way they both missed those 10 pins, it might be a welterweight world title match because it, neither one very looked very good. Definitely hyped up the place in there. Oh, man. All right, we're back to striking because apparently nobody can spare. <laughs> so it could still be true that we go high scoring with a 268, 279, but it could also be a 180, 190 kind of game. Oh Swade's trying to hype himself up here. I see him in the back. He's been in the back, like trying to just, you can see he's trying to like hype himself up, let all this energy feed into him. I, if he don't let it start feeding into him, I don't know if he's going to be able to stay in this match. That's right. Or double. No. That's like what I was saying earlier. As soon as he misses right, he does not. He's out there bowling on sport. Um, he basically turned the shot into sport. Yeah. For himself, because he's just in the like I said, he's in the wrong ball. Yeah, he's in, he's in, in the wrong ball, and it's just you don't just don't see that. Jerry's just throwing it so much better on that lane. Like Jerry has it figured out where he needs to put it. Yeah. Like when he left the ten, he left it twice that frame. But when he left that ten, you know it looked like he knew where he, he put the ball where he needed to. He just left the ten. Yeah. Sean's still just kind of oh, don't know what's really going on right oh, now. We well, got another ball change. Now we're going to another ball. So we're on the third ball here in the. Uh, 13 frames in. Uh, I'm attempting to figure out what that ball is. Is it a high road? Our expert analysis says it's a purple ball. <laughs> purple and it has a, um, a ninja star on it. Oh, that's an OG high road? Nine bit. Wow. Yeah, so Suede went to an OG high road. And him? Suede? No, that's a high road. Yeah, all he throws is a storm. All he throws is storm road. Crossing off the list of stuff I'm going to be throwing tonight. I didn't know. Expert analysis over just brought a really good point. Dennis just brought up a really good point. Um, that, right, that shot on the right lane was a really bad shot. It was dead right. And this way just adjusted off it. Yeah. I mean, I was always taught as a kid, if you throw a bad shot, you don't adjust off it. Unless you make like seven or eight of them in a row, which I used to do a lot. Yeah. yeah kinda, you, you kind of still do. It's very important. You have to be very sure that it was something you did wrong and not just a fluke kind of a thing. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry has a really good look. <laughs> Yeah, if Jerry, I'll tell you what, if Jerry can get this, get this one here, this, this, he might be able to go ahead and call this one for Jerry, too. Yeah, call no, this I, game for Jerry, because it's just... I wouldn't want to be in a 2-0 hole. No. No, because it was, it was like we talked early. You know, Sean needs to get this over with. Yes. The, the, the sooner, the better for Sean. The longer, it's going to favor Jerry. Yes, because Jerry actually gets around it a little bit yeah. and can move left. Yeah. I'm not convinced Swade can move left because he hasn't yet, and he's needed to. So yeah, all his adjustments have been moving right and ball change. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna see what this high road looks like on the right lane. I'm I'm still convinced if he gets it to the right, it's gonna check up. I just don't think it's gonna go through the front. <laughs> Same thing there. Was right. yep. didn't split on that one. Yeah, that was just a little right in it over her. If he missed maybe two more right of that, especially early, that would have been face. I mean, it was nearly face as it was. Um, yeah, that, that should have been a 410 or 49. Like, it was, that was, that was rough. Got the spare. So he's not mathematically out of this game yet, but he's going to need Jerry to give him some. And Jerry's not the type that gives people money, uh, big chances. Uh, see if Sean can get back on here. I just like, still don't agree with him with the ball he's throwing right now. That's going to probably be good right there. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I don't think he's needed to make a ball change on the left lane yet, and he keeps doing it. Since, again, I think it's as we talked about earlier, he wants to throw the same ball on both lanes, and I just don't think that's the right call for him right, right. now for his game. Yeah, Jerry, yeah. on the other hand, is a little bit more rounded, more ball speed, able to just throw it at the at the drive. Oh, Jerry! What the fuck, Jerry? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, Sean's biggest thing, man, he really should just suck with me all these lanes because that, he looks so good with that first ball. Yeah, he didn't miss on the left lane with that ball. I definitely think he needs to be throwing the proton on the left lane, and I have zero clue what he should be throwing on the right lane, other than I think he needs a ball up. But I don't know if he has a ball up from the proton. I still think he needs to throw something move left. Like, I think he's trying to yeah, that's what I mean. wrong. Like, this, you know, the ball he's using will probably work. He just, he's too far right. Right. Bro, that's yes, and he needs to swing a little bit. So, for those wondering the score right now, Jerry's got 126 in the six on a strike. Uh, check in what um, Swade is at 87 in the fifth on a strike. Oh, we got um, coaching coming in. Yeah. So, Sub Zero sent in their only bowler on the team. But, uh, um, we do we coach. Got a, uh, we got a coach here. <laughs> Want to help him out? <laughs> Coach is acting like that was good, but the problem is he's yeah. got to hit a spot the size of a dime. If he misses a board right of that, that would have been face. And if the board left, it would have been a bucket. But yes, let's absolutely stay put. Yeah, so Nick needs to come. He's got to hit this. I just say, uh, yes, that was 10 back. Right? Even the pros strike when they have to hit a spot that big. But when they miss, <laughs> and he doesn't no offense to Swade, he's not a pro. No. And again, yeah, he's he's just in the wrong ball on the left lane. He's in the wrong ball on both lanes. Yeah. He's in the wrong company. I hate being talking about company, especially since like that company is our the UBA sponsor, but uh, he's not throwing the right company right now. So what's out on the floor? That's a miss. So I, I do got me a Storm Spare Ball I can give him. Hey, remember how I said these guys were better than me? I was like 15 for 15 on 10 pins today. But you I, yeah, yeah, I left yeah. a lot of 10 pins today. And a 7 pins somewhere. All right. But I was clean, unlike these two. So we'll have a CNN moment here. We're going to go ahead and call game two for Jerry Didway. Jerry's going to be up yeah, to well, I'll call that too. There's, 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 Jerry's again, got it in the right spot. And I'm not even sure what the I coaching that, he, that Sean had on 36, that it wasn't just he just hit. He hit his dime. Like I said, yeah. he, hit, he hit his dime that he's got to hit. But we're on, we're on a house shot. Right. You should not You should not need to hit a dime on a house shot. No. If you have to hit a dime on a house shot, again, you're in the wrong ball. Right. Or the wrong part of the lane. And this is Race Marsh's favorite center ever. All of them in North Carolina are. All of them. <laughs> Again. Okay, I'm glad Sean was annoyed for that one because it looked like it crumbled pretty often. It, it was just it was a light mixer. Messenger out the ten. I just don't know how many more balls he has. Yeah. But if he doesn't, he needs. I'm trying to think of um, storm balls that he could be throwing right now. Uh, actually, a proton physics would have been really good if it didn't have so much lane shine on it. Yeah. Little light mixer. And again, um, Swade made it look like at the end of last game that he had this figured out, and he's going to at best shoot 2 0. 
Yeah, Jared's only had the two bad shots. Everything else has been plus. You hey, what? I said everything for Jerry's been plus. Like, yeah. I mean, and even even the tension he left in the second half was a great shot. Agreed. He was a little light on in the six, but I mean, Jerry's what you would call dialed in for sure. And I'm still, I mean, Swade's looking good right now, but everybody can strike when the pressure's gone. Yeah. Heck, even I can strike when the pressure's gone. And I wouldn't be surprised if... if there was a lot of pressure today. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Jerry feels, um, feels like he's going to start losing his shot, Jerry got the perfect opportunity now. He can go ahead and change balls. He can go ahead and move, play different zones. 100%. There's so much he can do right now, and that's the, oh. that's just the beauty of the WCS match, that you can just... Uh, and ball doesn't matter. It's, we're going... Inch so, bar, inch or a mile. Wins the I'm not 100% sure what this ball is. I know it is an overseas ball. I, I think it's like a deadlock or a snap lock or a master lock or... It's a lock. It's a lock. That's an unlock right there. But again, I... It matches the turn. Oh yeah, matches the matches like somebody just said, the ball the ball matches his jersey, so maybe that works. Oh, went a little light there, went a little light there, but it's still enough for the W. Two eight here, yeah. We called it well earlier. So yeah, two one uh two oh Jerry. Sean gets to start the next match. Or the next game rather, I'm sorry. Clayvon, it's a uh, two oh. No, we're about to be two oh for Jerry. <laughs> Yeah, that was a slow shot. We got half of them. Yeah. Fifty percent is really good if you're playing in the NBA. Not really when you're bowling. No. Uh, that's like my that's my ten pin percentage is fifty percent. That's how bad my that's how bad of a baller I am. That is not very high. No, that's why I stand back here and don't stand up there. I'll say good. Swade was looking for the confirmation that they got the scores. 219, 203, uh, Jerry there. So Jerry is up 2 0. <laughs> yeah, and if you look at the, if you look at the pin count now, 426, 405, it's completely irrelevant because it's Jerry is winning by way more than that. Yeah, the pin count you know I mean? feels like so much more than what it really is right now. <laughs> And Swade just four, six, seven. Again, I just do not, he, I believe he needs a really big ball and he needs to move his feet left. I think, I feel like he's needed to do it all day. Yeah. So, another open for Sean. Not good. Yeah, he's just not, I just don't feel like he's getting, if Swade can get his butt himself to just hype up and get into this, he'll start splitting boards. Because right now, with what he's throwing, he needs to split boards. He, like, cause he, can't, he can't rely on the crowd to get Jerry out of his game. Sean's got to get in his. Jerry could be out of his game, and it's going to be better than Sean not in his game. Because Jerry is absolutely piping it, and he's got room. Yeah. Well, now when he threw, he threw a lot faster too. Yeah. Well, that's what he had been doing in the tenth there. Yeah. Slowed it down a little bit on that fill where he five counted. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That's 10 back. Yeah. Very nice there from Jerry. Starting with a double. True. I honestly think Slade needs to um, just get up there and bowl. Forget the noise in the back. Forget everything else because we got another ball change coming. Um, so that actually looked like the best ball motion he's had so far on the right lane. Yes, that actually, I mean, the only catch is, I do, again, I don't know how much room he has. All right. 
Yeah, it, it wouldn't be so bad having that little bit of room if he was up to him. Um, because he only needs two more games. Wevon actually made a decent point, and you'll probably never hear me say that again. Yeah. Um, but he just said it's getting quiet. It is getting very quiet because right. you can't make a lot of noise when your guy isn't doing anything. Yeah. And that's the problem that with uh, a lot of these teams actually down here. Yeah. They, they got to get Slough. amped up and get hyped all the time. They they got to they can't lose it. They can't just. You, you know they're like piranha. You know they they got the man needs some help. He needs somebody to like get him like, amped up, get him focused. I don't know if amped up would do anything right now. I think he needs an actual bowler on his team, and I don't mean people who throw bowling balls. I mean he needs a bowler. And Niffin is not available. That, we're not gonna call Niffin a bowler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. really, I honestly think I don't know what advice Nick and gave him, but really, I think we're seeing it the, the way he needs to move, but he's not getting that advice. Correct. Yeah, and he does not have that. No. That's him back. Jerry's just throwing, throwing it hard and just got it. Jerry's look good right now. I mean, this Jerry's look looks, you know, light years better than. Yeah. Oh, we're at 11:30. I think you threw that. I think you threw that through the spot a little bit. Yeah. Agreed. Somebody just said, looks like um, Sean's playing bleh, bleh, can't even speak right now. Playing the game instead of playing the lanes, which is true. Yeah. Sub-Zero's gotten really quiet. Um, literally the only bowler, in my opinion, on their team saw one shot and walked off. And it was the one shot where Swade hit a dime. He needed to stay behind him for about three or four shots. But... All right, Sean. That looks pretty good. That's back to back, two good shots on the right now. Yeah. Well, and I think the big reason he's now starting. Now he's got a ball for the right lane. The problem is that ball does not work on the left lane because he won't throw two different balls. He needs to be two balling it for what he's doing right now, and it's just not working. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, All right, All right. he hit his dime. Yeah. I'm still not 100% convinced he's got it, even though no. he's got his crowd starting to cheer for him because he finally threw a double. My crowd gets excited when I just throw a strike. I don't even, they don't even need a double to get excited for me. Yep. I just hit the pocket and they're getting excited. Let's see if Jerry can answer that. Yeah. Right. Jerry just okay. answered that noise with a pretty strong light hit right there. Oh, we got Raw back. Let's see what Jerry does here to throws a double right here. That's a huge answer to that double. That is huge. That is huge. It's a big shot. Swade finally throws a double, and Jerry answers back with a double of his own. Yeah. And again, squarely putting the pressure right back on Sean. Yes, which I think the more he tests, the more intensive, the more he's not going to hit that dime spot that he's got to hit down lane. Yeah. Yeah, he just can't. That looks pretty good. Ah. Mm. Again. I just ah. still just do not think he's in the right ball. 
Yeah, his, his ball changes. Like, he think, can change his surface on anything he needs to. I mean, he can do anything. Yeah, you can change the surface in the middle of a match, can't you? Yeah, you can do anything. You can throw left handed, he can throw it. Just don't throw it overhead. Or miss a tip. Oh, my God. We are 0 for our last three on 10 points. These are just. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it this again. I'm calling this game. All right, so, yeah, we're going we're to go back to being a – we're going to do Fox this time. Uh, Fox is going to go ahead and call game three. Jerry is up 3-0. So now that i actually been told and remembered the Kevin Decker rule that you can change surface on bowling balls in the middle of these matches, yep. he needs to get, like, a thousand grip pad and smack it to his pro chop yep. I absolutely think he, that Proton needs about a thousand grit on it for him. He needs to move about seven left, yep. and play. Yeah. The, he needs to play the shift. Seven left would be good. Because then he's getting on top of where Jerry needs to move, yep. and he's he's burning up Jerry's hold area that Jerry has right now. He needs to make things harder on Jerry, and he's not. Right. And see, I don't know if Sean knows how to how to play how to play defense. Sim similar to how uh, a former champ of ours that we, that we both friends with. Uh, Bob Benton was yes. play, play some defense. Kilo used to play defense when he was world champ too. Yes. Like and that's kind of what you got to do in this situation. Well, and it's not so much just playing defense. You're yeah. playing offense while playing defense. Right. If yeah, you can absolutely. do both of them good, that's what makes great bowlers. When Bob was throwing that Euro thing, he was still averaging 225, 230, but he was making their looks worse. Yep. Or like in um, Kilo, or I'm going to use a really old reference, Dan McCaskill. Dan McCaskill, as opposed to where a lot of these guys, like Bob will throw urethane to mess you up. Yeah. Dan would throw 500 for him, and right. he would take his hand out of it and get on top of you, and would manipulate and change the lanes to make it harder on you. While he's still shooting 220s, he's making your look a 190 look. Yeah, absolutely. To where... If you turn it into a bowler's match, that's when people like a Bob Ben, a Dan McCaskill, a Dennis Killo thrive. Well, and, and honestly, it's even a, a, a brief preview of how the Vixens match is going to be tomorrow. You know, between Daphne and Casey. Oh, I'm 100% Daphne. If she's out there trying, her and Nick are going to play defense. Right. During practice, I would be shocked if Daphne is not throwing 360 grit. And after probably every game or two, Nick is probably going to reapply surface to her ball yep. to make to huh. force Casey to move. That's truly what I think is going to happen in that match. And that's their only hope. Because Casey inside this building is really, really good. Daphne on that side of this building is mediocre. Yep. Even though she's a great Vixen. She's oh, yeah. honestly the best Vixen champ we've ever had. Absolutely. Um, yeah. For the series. I won't say the best female bowler in the South. I'm not going to have that debate. No, no. Um, but we can only we can only deal with what's in front of us. So, we'll, yes. you know, as far as WCS goes, um, I've been a part of UBA for five years now, I think. And Daphne has been the best Vixens champ that we've had. And uh, I as like as like, in the series, I won't. Yeah. You think the best world champ? You're wrong, but you already know. My oh, so we're now we have a discussion over who the best world champ was. Yeah. My opinion, I'm going to go with my family, uh, Matt Taylor. Uh, Matt Taylor, in my opinion, is the most overall talented world champ we've ever had. Obviously, Dennis Kello was a great world champ. Never going to argue that one. Right. Yes. But when it comes to UBA, Matt isn't exactly UBA. Yeah. He's the other. You just replace the U. Maybe add a like a, a P, and that's more Matt's um, style. But right. Matt Taylor, I will always argue he's the best world champ, talent wise. Yeah, Talent-wise, I would not say Daphne is the best Vixens champ we've ever had. So I said in the time I've been around. Oh, Emily. No. Emily didn't hold the belt. No, when I oh. when I when I when I first joined the Savages, uh, Daphne was the champ. Gotcha. Okay. So I've got so it. before that, Emily was the world champ at one point. Okay. But I think with having uh, her daughter. Yep. And then child do that. Kids, yes. kids do so, that. We both had kids and impact our lives, so we get yes. that. Your kids are all like grown and stuff. But they still impacted just. Yes. They still did that for sure. My child's four going on 40. She thinks she's a lot older than she is. Yeah, I, lo I love it when the kids are become older than you. That's awesome. Woo. 
Yeah. All right, so we are um, definitely 3 0. Man, you joined, making me feel old. When I joined the UBA, there wasn't even a belt. <laughs> that was point. <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah, back in the day when we had the U this is where I used Jerry before even the belt series when we just had rankings. Jerry pretty much stayed around the top two or three nonstop, and would it would be him and Josh Pittman uh, yep. that would battle back and forth. So Jerry's so I, Jerry's been in this situation. Sure, he hasn't been in a world title match. He's been in this situation before and you just have to look back on your experiences use that to help you and again wow um, why he has not moved 10 left is beyond yeah that, that was that was that was rough well <laughs> we have a lot of people asking why sub zero got quiet and when your guy shoots 609 the first three in a world title match that would give you a good reason to but then what what lane would you want Wade to be bowling on? Neither. None. Yeah, so I mean so we're gonna have to I would like him to throw the minimum. So I mean we can we can look at changing some tag rules for next year. Jerry missed a touch inside and had a suede hit there. Yeah. But the thing the thing I like about Jerry though is like he knows what he just did. Yes. It's not a question, there's not that that slapping the thigh on the way back. There's nothing. Jerry yeah. knows, okay, this is what I did, it's fixed. And the other half, he picked up his tin pin. And, yeah. I mean, he missed one, that was enough. He ain't gonna miss no more. So he missed three. You Jerry missed you, three? Yeah, no, Swade missed three. Sorry, Swade missed three. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry's only missed one. That's a little in, but that should be good. Oh, ring 10. Mm. We're going to see if he knows how to pick up this tempin yet. I'm not convinced. No. Hasn't he always been throwing one? No. <laughs> So, Swade must have went and got a spare ball drilled in. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. So, world champ, ladies and gentlemen. One for four. <laughs> <laughs> Not even good in baseball. <laughs> So the one thing I'll say, we we're talking about the world champs and stuff, is so the world champs I've had have all been really, really great ballers. But the thing is, is since I've been in UBA, ever since Nick took the belt from the North, there has not been a North there's even person has been called. There hasn't been a North champ, I think, since Miguel of Kobo. Yeah, that was um, old and, Tiburon. And I'll, I'm going to argue he was the worst world champ we've ever had. I, 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 I could agree with that. Dougie? No, Miguel of Kobo. That's a pretty good shot. Miguel, if you're watching, hello. If you're not watching, it's okay. Yeah. Our opinion doesn't matter if you're watching or not. Our opinion is our opinion. Yeah. I mean, I'm, he's up against a very stout field of former world champs when I'm saying he's the worst. But they're all still a former world champ. Jerry still picked up his 10 pin. We got. So I don't do any betting now in the WCS matches and stuff just because, you know, being director of it, I don't. Don't feel comfortable doing all that stuff. Makes so, sense. But when it comes to the North South matches uh, at Mega Bowl this year and the Battle Bowl, um, that's different. That's different. Um, Segura don't know what you got coming to her. The North is going to be in so much trouble every series across the board. So Jerry's look is starting to. I think the ball's burning up. Yeah. I think the ball's picking up a little too soon, which is causing it to lose energy down lane. Which was honestly something we kind of expected to be backwards. Yes, I actually expected this to be the other way around. Yes. And um, we're getting the other side, but I'm still, again, I am not convinced Slade has a look. No. I mean, maybe he'll prove me wrong, but I... Well, if this was like a tour stop, uh, I think Slade would want to come out after those first two games, for sure. Because it's just not there. Now, there. here's something that I think is going to play an effect if this match goes beyond maybe the next game or two. We're about 15 minutes from the next squad of last team standing starting. I believe the majority of his sub-zero noise is going down that way, even though they've made no noise so far. Right. If this match was to go five, six, 
seven. They're all going to be bowling. They're not going to be over here making noise for him to maybe make a comeback. I don't know if he's even going to do it anyways, but he's going to need that noise to have any shot at making a comeback in my eyes. He's trying to get pumped up here. He's okay. trying to get pumped up here. Pushed out of five right there. Hey. Maybe he's reminding himself that he's the world champ. He's, he's got to do something. Yeah, you definitely got to do something. Let's we'll see if Jerry makes the right adjustment off those um, these last three flat tens he's left. It's a ball change. Yep. That ball pushed down lane. I think he's going to need to go to something a touch weaker. Um, just like be able to kick off the back a little bit harder. Maybe something with a touch of shine. I don't know if he's got any shine in his back. I honestly have no clue what's in his back. Well, I'd venture to say if Jerry doesn't get a strike in the fifth, Jerry will probably go ahead and start fishing this game and just go almost concede it. Yeah, 100%. And Which is something, a very smart thing to do. There's no point in just Oh, absolutely. Because you, you, as a bowler you in the WCS, you know when you're out. The score might not show it yet. It might still mathematically be there, but you know when you don't have it, you need to find it. Yeah. And I think Jerry will do that a lot sooner than Swade was doing. Swade was taking way too long until it was mathematically eliminated. That looked a little bit better, but again, that's a little bit of a light hit. Right. Still, and on most house shots, light is flush. Yeah. We're going to call it the same thing. Yeah, this is going to be right back on. Pressure still on Sway, though. Sway needs a double here. These, these two shots, he needs them. Oh, that ball went dead straight for him. He might have got a little overhyped. Um, again, this I don't think this I don't think this game's done yet. It's only a 20 pin match. Um, 10 if you count the strikes. Spared it up there, so we're gonna see if he can make the make the right ball change. That's a pretty good shot, I think. Oh, we got a low hit. Right, tripping fours. I won't. I won't say the rest of that line. No, no, no I'll leave that to Kenan McFall. Yeah, I won't add the rest of that line for tripping fours. Yep. This is a, a, a PG. And, well, not really PG. Are we PG? We're, no, Do no. Do I have to say PG? No, we don't have to say PG because I've heard a couple times. Oh. So we just got some words we should avoid. Well, then, I can, uh, if we have another trip four, I'll add the whole thing. <laughs> That looked pretty good. That was a good adjustment. So for those who want to know the score right now, um, it's a 10 pin match. Um, 56 for Jerry out and a 66 for Swain. Yep. Yeah, all, those, all the spares for Jerry really help keep this close. Yes. And, and the good part for Jerry is Jerry's spare. Sean had that same situation. He would have opened in there somewhere. Oh. Oh. Jerry was ready to get hyped right there. Yeah, he was trying to get there. But again, well, it might be moving over because they didn't set y'all up on third. So, so Cruiserway will be here. Y'all oh, three nine. Oh. Ah, there has been a lot of missed 10 pins in this match. I think Swade's going to jump on this. I'm going to call Swade jumping on this. Are we going to one and five or two and five? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it could be a 400. <laughs> hey. All right. Two in a row. Hot damn. Tell you what. <laughs> Oh, 
So that last shot was a little flat. Um, I don't know if Swade realized that or if he just thought it was a tip. Um, see if he makes some kind of adjustment here. Probably not. Threw that one better. And got the messenger out. Swade's okay. trying to live off hype right now and see if that can get him, how far that gets him. 393. Jerry can go out for 223, and I think he's going to need a ball to have any shot, at least this game. But again, Swade goes marks out for 76, 96, 216. So if Jerry strikes out, Swade's got a double yeah. to continue this match. Is that what all? So at the same time, we've got the crowd about to go away. Yes. We're about to start the squad. We're also going to have another WCS match right here on 37, 38, right beside them. Okay. So we'll see how this uh, carries over for them. Ooh. Uh, so who's going to be bowling on 37, 38? Uh, 37, 38 is going to actually be the welterweight match. 39 and 40 is going to be for the cruiserweight. Who's in the Who's in the welterweight? Uh, welterweight is uh, Muhammad and um, Bradley. Nice. And then cruiserweight match? Uh, Farrington and uh, Steven from uh, High Point. I can't, his last name is escaping me at the moment. Oh. Well, Farrington, well, being 39 and 40, tricky things can happen. So I wouldn't, I know you predicted Farrington to win. Um, yep. Tricky things can happen on 39 and 40 in this building. Well, I didn't expect to have to use 39 and 40 at that time either, but. I'm never a big fan of Big double right there. Oh, yeah. We got Rel jumping down there with him. And he, well, here's the other thing. He's not going to lose Rel. No, because Rel's already both. Rel will only just have to go outside for uh, breaks. I don't know. He might stay in here. When well, they lose a sub zero. Um, well, Squad is going to attempt to hold him up. Well, Swade is going to have to give something, Rel, some hope to keep Rel from going outside. Yeah, that puts uh, Swade. Yeah, that's yeah, three one. Yes, three we're, one. We're so. three one. No sweep. Up three one. Rel's being a motivational speaker back here and trying to get people to talk with their chest. So I actually think the lanes have now come to Sean. Whereas Jerry still has a look, he's just trying to fight with some carry issues right now. Yeah, cruiserweight, cruiserweight will be Ball here. looks really good there. So we're now at 3-1. Got Rel coaching, coaching Swade up here. Good, how you doing? <laughs> Three one, baby. We're at three one here. And like I said, the Sub Zero crowd is slowly dispersed into their, um, off into their worlds. They're saving them garbage strikes for later. Squad starting to start. Yep. So that game we had 225 for Sean Wade, 203 for Jerry Didway. Like you said, that gets to 3 1 Jerry. So we're getting started with game five here. Great. Got really the music off for mouth announcements coming. 
is great. Gives us oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! This is actually the complete opposite of what we described. Yeah. We described it as being Sean needed to get it done early. I actually think this is the opposite. Yep. Swade's starting to get hyped up. His look's starting to get good. But Jerry, still good has, Jerry still has a look, but he doesn't. I don't know if he can carry on the left lane. He's been struggling with carry on that left lane. If Jerry can start carrying on that left lane, we're going to finally get a world title match. We're going to see what the hell's going on. We're going to see who can out strike who. Right now, all we've seen is um, who can out spare who. And so far, Jerry has out spared um, Sean. Oh, wow. Which is why he's up 3 1. Jerry just rolling pins. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Yeah. This will be that high scoring game we expect. Thank you. So, yeah, we had probably 80 people standing around watching this match, and we have dissipated down to about 30. Wade's starting to strike now. Some zero people are gone. Maybe he's annoyed with them. Maybe he wanted them to go away. Well, I mean, I did say he was um, probably going to a different team next year. Yeah. And his team he's going to is the one that's cheering for him right now. Yep. That would be squad. <laughs> Right. More turkey. I think he's got it. He's got this. One. Well, that's a little left. Oh, but he didn't get the roll four. Well, you almost got that trip four you were looking for. I know. I was looking. I've been looking for another trip four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking for it for sure. Yes. But I tell you what, Jerry needs this. Jerry needs this next one. If Jerry can get yes. this next one. It's gonna silence the back area. It's gonna silence everything. And it's gonna put all that pressure that's been building and building on Tom that he hasn't been able to like let go of. Yeah. It's just gonna keep mouthing. Yes. Big spare right there to at least stay in this. Let's see here. Oh, that's got to carry. Yeah, that was a little in. It's funny, when we were doing our introductions uh, before we started the stream, we talked to uh, Sean, and I, I made Sean tell me the one thing he dislikes about Jerry, and he said how long Jerry takes on the approach. Jerry should have took longer on their approach right there. Yeah. Because these guys, all their this is left. Like all their all their single pins are left. This has been Just, a absolutely atrocious spare shooting match. That is literally the only way to describe the spare shooting. It's a good comeback right there. All right, but, so Sean's up, but Sean's got to get another one. Yes. Swade needs to keep applying pressure. Yeah. The more pressure he applies, the looser he gets, the tighter it turns, it starts turning the table. The tide has to turn. <laughs> Oh, that's left. Flat 10 right there. Yeah. yeah that was very left. And the, basically the puddle that we've been talking about just pushed it down the lane, which is going to cause 10 pins like that. It was the same thing on Jerry's last shot. Let's see if he can actually spare this up, though. Ooh. Oh. 
Close, but still a spare. Still a spare is all that counts. Right now, this has basically just been a spare shooting contest. Really hasn't been much of a striking fest or a strike fest that we thought it was going to be, especially in the bowling center we're in. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of known as one of the easier shots, the easiest houses that always honor scores here. Big numbers all the time. Everybody loves the bowl here for that reason. And we're in this situation where we're struggling. It's a great shot from Slater right there. Great shot. So we're just getting the squad started here for last team stand, and they're getting started. It's now three o'clock. Got Jerry up here. He needs, he needs a strike. He needs a strike very bad. That looks pretty darn good. Ten back right there. We're gonna see what if he can at least put some pressure on Sway. Because right now it is a one pin match. Um favoring Sway. Can you do me a favor? Can you go tell the front desk that we need 10 minutes of practice on these two pairs? Yeah. Yeah. She was in the little. Another ten pin. Gary's, Gary's definitely got a spare. Big spare right there out of Jerry. He's been struggling on ten pins about as much as well, maybe not as much as Wade. Wade's been awful. Wade's coming up right here. Definitely needs to throw a double right here. Throws a double right here. He's in pretty darn good shape, I would say. It's a little left. Might be good enough. And remember the rumor I said about Swade going to squad? I've been hearing some squad chants in the back. Yeah. Some squad, squad. Making those crazy noises. Yeah, 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 you're good now. You're on. I want to make sure I don't want to Oh, you're good now. You're good. All right, so the uh, cruiserweight and welterweight matches are starting their 10 minutes of practice now on our right. Hopefully, this world title match goes on a little bit longer. Yep. Uh, for Sean. It's looking like it's not going to be done yet. So he's got some fight left in him. Yo. Yeah, he, he's that silent assassin kind of guy. You know what I mean? Like he's the one that's gonna he gonna kill you with the look. He gonna kill you with his bowling. He can't. He don't do it talking trash. That's the one part of the culture he, he's missing. I wouldn't talking say, to trash. I wouldn't say he's so much missing. He's more in your face yeah. type of noise. Yeah. And there was a tripping bars and banging whores. Finally got one. Finally got one. That was, that was kind of a, that wasn't really much of a true trip for. Yeah, but it was good enough. The four pin fell last. I'm going to go with it. That's fine. We'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. Standing squad has started practice. This yep. is great. Jerry got it. Big Jerry shot. can't miss again. Jerry misses again. It's over. It's 3 2. He's got it. Sean's, Sean's, Sean's kind of got it this game. He just got to keep it going. Yes, he's got to stay on it. He needs this hand bone. This hand bone will be huge. We are not calling four in a row a hand bone. Yes. No, we are not. Why can we not call it a hand bone? Because it is four in a row. Okay. Well, we'll Why go. would you call it a hand bone? I don't How know. Does, it's not, Look, it makes I, no sense. When I play bowling video games, they call it a hand bone. They do not. They, they do. It's because it's sponsored by the PBA. PBA is foolish. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh. We don't have to worry about what we're going to call that it. That changes some numbers. Let's see. That definitely changes some numbers up. Let me see. 56, 86. 
Oh, we've got a one pin match again. Favoring swing. Yeah. Back to super close match. Now we have not. Now everybody's perfect on seven pins so far because nobody has left one. Valid. So we'll see if uh, Swain got this. He should. I don't expect he's going to miss a seven pin. That would just be awful. I would laugh. Yeah, I, I would, would laugh if they missed the seven pin. I would laugh the rest of this game probably. But we're in a good place here now. 47 max, 46. This is going to be good. I'll go ahead and say, next person that doesn't strike loses. I won't go that far. Ah, if Sway doesn't strike here, I'm not going to say he's guaranteed to lose. But it would allow Jerry to get up and throw the rest of them for the win, which is a position everybody wants to be in. Good well, shot, but a little bit of a half ten there. Yeah. I think these guys have struggled so much with 10 pins a day that they just, the dollar pointer is thinking about it too much. I will say if he misses this, it's over. But, nailed it head on. But now, that changes his match to 236. Jerry needs the next three strikes to win the match. Next three and stay behind the foul line. So, Jerry's getting up right now to see if he can take home the world title. Oh. Ring 10, ring 10. Changes the complexion of this very much though. A really good shot, still super close if he spares. Spares, it's an 11 pin match. He can get up and force Sway to do a lot, which... That is a miss. Well, we're going to go to game six. All right, so. MSNBC is calling this one for play. 3-2, though. Still 3-2, Jerry. No, Jerry said seven. Sway said six. No, they both, they both said six. They both said six? Both I thought Jerry said seven. No, they both said six. So that's why I, I joked about it. Be, well, so we're going to have a best of six match then. That's hey. I'm saying, so. But John's hoping he's wrong. Oh. Sway, hoping it's Sway just made a ball change, and he moved in. Yeah. That looked really, really good. Maybe he should have done that five games ago. That's right. When Kevin said he should have. But again, two ten bowlers sitting back here. God almighty, these guys, I'll tell you what. These last couple games have almost been like they don't know who wants to win. So well, it's kind of bowling right now. Well, if, if you see, Swade has now moved to the left and balled up. Well, and we talked about an hour ago, right? Yes, yeah, so I he, said this game too. Maybe he's on a tape delay. Like he's just now hearing it. Somebody's just now telling him that, hey. Yeah, I think, said, I think they're now just watching our YouTube video and they heard, hey, that Kevin Decker guy said I should move flat. Yeah. Let me try it. Yeah. One thing people should learn about the UBA stuff, if you say something and I agree with it, or vice versa, it probably needs to happen. Well, as we're talking about bowling, though, yeah. normally when I'm speaking good stuff, it's about like formats and whatnot. Swade's look, when that move in, looks yep. amazing. Throwing the, uh, the, I'm gonna call it the master lock. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's a lock. That's all I know, and it's probably made for Japan. Well, because when he started with that, that the master lock, you're calling it, it looked more like an unlock. Yeah, as bad as he was. With so it. that game was 236 for Swade, 213 for Jerry. And we're back. Wade's look got really, really good. It's a great shot from Jerry right there. But I honestly think Jerry's gonna need 240 plus to win. Swade's look looks like a 250 plus. It looks really good. It's got 
out of care. Damn, Tinman. Jerry just does. I just don't think Jerry has the miss in anymore, whereas Swade now does. Like I said earlier, like when I, it's almost, it's basically flipped around based on what we were saying earlier. Completely. Oh, and he picked the pimpin' up that time. Yeah, I mean, this match is surprises, really, because we, we expected Sean to be going for, to try to sweep, get it done. Yes. Jerry, we expected to have the advantage the longer it goes. We didn't expect either one to miss all these damn ten pins. We're going to see, yeah, we're going to see if this move Swade has made works on his lane. It's close, still quarter pin, but I, and I honestly think it's the rack. I'm actually going to take a look on the next rack on that lane. I think the rack's slightly off on that left lane. It looks really wide open from at least the... I, yeah, I am sitting at an angle. That's why I was going to try and sit in front of it in a minute. I think at the same time, though, is even with these adjustments that Sean has made, sticking with a, the same, a, a ball, a different ball on each lane would have been the way to go. Oh, 100%. He definitely should have been throwing a different ball on each lane. I'm going to go look at the rack on 35 real quick. Hey, buddy. It's okay. How you doing? So we're getting investigative uh, reporting from uh, Kevin Decker. It's a little off, not bad. Yeah. Not as bad as I think I thought it was. I mean, it might just be the angle I'm sitting at. Right. It's um, made it look worse than what it really is. Swade's Man. definitely got that laid down. Yeah, 36. He, the ball looks great on 36. But, but again, not on 35. I think, like you said, if he would just two ball it, he'd be in a lot better shape. But if he, if he had two ball the whole time, he would he would have been open. It would have been over. Like if, if Swade would have won this if he would have had played two balls and not felt like he had to play with one ball the whole time. And if he would have moved left like he's done right now, if he did that back in game one or two. So like two thirds of his issues, he's got worked out. Yes. He still needs a different ball on that list. Great shot right there. We got an even ball game for three. Yep. I like it. And we're actually getting the uh, welterweight and cruiserweight matches started up. Right. Uh, the, like you said earlier, you got... Yep, so we got welterweight is on 37-38. Yep. Yeah, 37-38 is the welterweight match. Muhammad against uh, Chris Bradley. Yep. And then the cruiserweight is Stephen... Is, Stanley. Yeah, he has Stanley on his back of his jersey, so I'm going to go with Stephen Stanley. That sounds great. Uh, against Charles Darrington, the current champ. It wasn't in the series when I ran it, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I understand that. Stay down through that. Oh, it's a big hit right there. Yeah, Jerry kind of went up on his toes a little bit on that one. He just kind of did the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this has been a rough week for the Carolina Rollers. Their owner passed away earlier this week. Their owner and, passed um, away? Yes. I did not know that. Who was the owner? Um, Cheryl's husband. Cheryl Douglas' husband. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, definitely prayers to the family for that. That's, yeah. That's all. That was, um, at one point, I was, I was wondering if the match was even going to happen today. Yeah. I obviously would have let that, you know, would have granted that extension. A hundred percent. That know, would make sense. Something like that. But um, they, they, everybody on the team, they wanted him to bowl. He wanted to bowl, so they bowled. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely prayers for that family. I'm assuming. Assuming the UBA um, YouTube page is Rudy. Probably so. I think they all share who's responsible for it. Rudy, it's currently 3 2 Jerry. 3 2 Jerry. Oh, good. They can hear me. Yes, and then they're playing. Yes, it, uh, Rudy, it started out as 3-0, um, Jerry, and Swade has started to make a little comeback here. But um, this game's, this game's going to be tight. They're starting to bowl now. Swade's got it on the right lane right now. Um, doesn't really have the left lane locked in yet. I tell you, the cheering section for Sean has drastically shrunk. Yes, they dispersed. They, he got one noisemaker over there, and that's Rail. Yeah, and he's not even on Swade's team. And he's not on his team. That's the old uh, squad. Uh, connection we talked about 
about earlier. And the Future Squad Connection. The future Squad Connection. We, we're, we're like entertainment tonight here, breaking news and shit. Kind of let, let it be known to people what's going on. Yep. But it's cool. The good, the good part about it, all those people though, they're stand up folks. They let you know ahead of time, and they're gonna, um, and they're gonna be fighting the whole time. Yeah, Rail and them, they they still gonna keep fighting for Hitman as long as they're on Hitman. Hundred percent. Just like Swade is gonna be fighting for Sub Zero. Like, ooh, that was a little bit in, and it just kept going. It didn't actually resign. Gotta spare this up to keep his lead. Yeah. You don't want to be throwing away pins like that. Yeah, don't do that. You ain't gonna make the spare. I want to yell out that I got 20 on the spare. But yeah. I don't know what to do that. Damn. Bro would have took me on that 20 too. Probably not. <laughs> he would have laughed. He would have laughed at me and looked away. <laughs> It's definitely the UBA right now. Oh, yeah. That's one thing that the culture down here is, is a lot better than the North. You know, there's a couple teams that have that culture up north. Like Murder Inc., I was up there for their playoff win. That's yeah. not, I don't want to talk about that. Well, no, we're not going to talk about the Battle Bowl situation. I'm going to talk about the playoff win. I was up there for a playoff win for work. And so I got I got to watch that. I got to watch all that trash talking. They have it. That's there's nobody down here that has what Murder Inc. does. No. I'm going to straight up say that. Right. And Murder's not the only one who does this. There's several of them up north who do that. Where they're gonna, You're going to walk it off. You're going to tell them what you're doing. You're going to make sure at all times you're not you're engaged. And that's something Murder does differently than every team in the South. Um, yeah, Murder is a great, great team. Absolutely. But they, they're not going to repeat. I, you can bank on that now. They are not going to repeat as champs. I promise that. I'm not going to say who from the South will beat them, but it'll be like WCS. South will dominate uh, this year at Battle Bowl. New format and everything. Well, it's not really a new format. We're going away from that thing. Well, more day. we got more days going on. That's right. We did we did away with yeah. We did yeah. We did away with the the one that we sent. Oh. oh. But we got an extra day of Battle Bowl this year. Where's that ice? Gonna be good. Are we starting on Wednesday? Starting on Wednesday. Yep. So that means somebody will have a tournament on Tuesday probably too for those taking the entire week off. But we are starting Battle Bowl on Wednesday this year. Yep. Might as well just. Because we got remember we got the brawls. So we got to do all the brawl finals and stuff up there too. Oh, I'm just gonna speak on this real quick. Rudy just said he loves Missy College. Bro, you have like three women in the Northeast. There's three women in the entire Northeast Vixen series. You lose a match, you're still in a number one contender match next month. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and, that's and, not a series. No, nah, that's a. Uh, that's a. I was gonna say use the Minaj word in there, but it's, it's just kind of like a golfing three. That's a big shot right there out of Jerry. Big shot to give him a 19 pin lead, 29 if you can double. Same shit, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, Sean breaking his Dutch 200 pace. Uh, ah, he needed more than that right now. That turkey from Jerry in the th third, fourth, and fifth really catapulted this game. And if Jerry wins this game, he's actually going to follow through with his prediction. It's a pretty good shot. That's a big shot. Big, big shot. It look like 10. 10. 29. It's a 29 pin lead, and I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and say, if Sway does not strike out, he will not win this game. He needs well, to strike out to have literally any shot. And even if he strikes out, I don't think he wins. It's just that's his literal only shot. Well, it starts here. Let's see if he can get this. One. Oh, that's a ball change. Now, here's the question. Will he keep throwing the ball that was striking for him on the right lane, or is he going to ball change again? Oh, we're about to go two balls. Oh, shit. So, something... Uh, something you said about 20 ago? Yes. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, we, we were talking about that earlier. Wow. We just switch balls. Have one ball on each lane. You know, I'm just going to go on a limb. If Sweet had been on Hitman, this would have at least been a match. Because we would have never allowed this. 
we would have never allowed Sway to dig himself into a hole. Well, and you know, at the same time, it's like you talked about earlier, Sub Zero don't have bowlers. Correct. You've got a lot of bowlers that are PBA guys that are all just they can all that beat all that criteria that can an instant analyze and help adjust. Yes. No matter your skill level, no matter your left hand, right hand, two hand, overhand, under I'm gonna, hand, yeah. What I'm going to say about Sub Zero, they have a lot of people that throw bowling balls well. There's a big difference between throwing a bowling ball well and being a bowler. Yeah, there's a difference between bowlers and people that like the ball. Yeah. Oh, that's big. So let's see. Swade can max out for 227. Uh, Jerry, 16, let me see if he goes nine. Are you seeing the first one? Yeah, Jerry needs the first one to win. So one strike for the world title right here. I'm going on a limb. I'm saying he's getting it. That's a good shot. Big shot. Now nah, he just gotta just keep it on the lane. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I guess he needs some. no double. He needs, a, he needs a pen. Yeah. Get on up there. Jerry showed up when it mattered most. Yes, when Swade, all the the momentum shifted to Swade, Jerry came out here and just absolutely killed it. Don't matter at this point. Yeah, the worst shot he's thrown the entire night is the last one. That's great. That's a big win for Jerry. First time world champ right there. That's right. And still, as usual, the only area that wins the world title is still the Southeast. Yeah, still the South. It'll be here for a while. Now it's going to be a matter of if tomorrow night, if Swayze can handle Nick Christie. Is it in here? Is that a triad? It's here. Yep, it is here. I'm going to call Nick Christie. I'm going Nick Christie in five. Nick Christie in five. I yes. like it. Yeah, it's yep. Nick versus Swayze. I'm going Nick Christie. Well, are you on? Well, what end of the building are you on? So, I believe Mal is going to condense the last team standing towards one and two. So, they're going to sleep shift that way. Yep. So, we'll probably be on the high end again. But hopefully not this one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still going Nick. Yep. All right. Again, first off, congratulations. Thank you, sir. That was a great match. I believe you, I actually heard you called it yourself in six. Yes. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> it started to look like it was going to be four for a minute there, and then things started shifting yeah. away. What happened? Got um, popping up a little bit and uh, tugging it in, started leaving a bunch of 10 pins and struggling. Had a little uh, leg pain there, so popping up and caused me to miss a, several 10 pins there. You fought through the pain. I know you told me before the match you were having a lot of pain. You fought through the pain. Got a, a different colored belt yeah, this time. Right. Came, Finally. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Thank again. you, bud. Thank um, you. you came up big when it mattered most. Swade started getting all that momentum. What did you do different just that last game to just kind of push yourself over the hump? Just, um, just taking deep breaths at the approach and uh, keeping, uh, making sure I stay down at the line. Because if, if I stay down, I had a good shot. If I popped up, I left a lot of 10 pins. So, um, so I just made sure I stayed down on those last couple of shots there to finish this thing out because I didn't want to go seven. <laughs> I understand that completely. I'm going to ask one last question since now you actually don't have to bowl tomorrow night. That's right. It's now Nick Christie versus Sean Wade. I'm going to ask for a prediction. Um, I think Nick wants it really bad, uh, so I think Nick's going to take it. And uh, I think he'll probably have a little while. He'll probably come after me and uh, Mega Bowl, I think. He's got to win a few more matches yeah. to get to you, but yeah, that's the truth. you actually but get I to take a little bit of a break now. Yes. You get the world champ advantage. Yes, again, sir. I'm going to say it one more time, congratulations. Appreciate it, buddy. Once again, folks, this is the UBA, UBA all day.